Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a very late November favorites. But if you wanted to see the items that I've been loving for the past month, then just keep watching. So I took a little bit of an unannounced hiatus from social media. I just really needed a break and I needed to recalibrate. So I am back on track. I'm so excited to be filming these videos for you guys. And I don't know, I just couldn't live with myself if I didn't get up a monthly favorites, even though it's like the middle of December already, which by the way, Christmas is coming so quickly. So I don't have a ton of items, but I have some really good ones that I wanted to talk about with you guys. The first item is something that I discovered in the very, very beginning of November. I feel like I've had it for much longer, but I've really been loving the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde Palette. I just think it's one of the most beautiful palettes that's out on the market right now. It's so different. I love the looks you can create with this palette. The textures in here truly are unique and I just think it's an overall great quality palette. Now these colors maybe aren't necessarily something that I found that I reach for every day but it's just so pretty and it makes me happy. It sparks a joy in me so though I probably haven't used this as much as I would like, I just have been loving it. I love owning it. I love playing with it. I love looking at it. You know you are a true makeup addict when you just sit in your room alone at night and swatch the products and I just feel so happy swatching this so I've been loving this. The next items are from a review I did pretty recently a couple of weeks ago. I reviewed the new ColourPop Coconut Collection and there are two items in here that really stood out to me that I just love. As you can see I've been loving these like brown taupey tones so this collection really did it for me. So we have the ColourPop Going Coconuts palette. Now I recommend you go check out my video where I review this whole collection so you can see everything. But this has to be one of the most beautiful palettes ColourPop has ever come out with. The most perfect tones, the most perfect travel palette. I just, I'm so obsessed with this and I feel like everybody who has this is also obsessed with it. The quality is so good. The colors are so good and it just, it's been, these tones are my whole vibe and I love this. And it's just so amazing that this is so affordable and the quality is so good. You know, it's not Natasha Denona quality or anything. Thing, but for what it is, the ColourPop formula is definitely comparable to high-end eyeshadow formulas. It's really mind-blowing how they managed to do that, but definitely have been loving this palette this month. Also from that collection, should be no surprise, it is the Call Me On My Shell Phone Super Shock Shadow Trio. So in here you get three of the Super Shock formula, which I am in love with. The color in particular that I think I love the most is the darkest color. This is Deep Dive. I wore this all over my eyelid on Thanksgiving. I posted photos and a lot of you guys were like, what are you wearing on your eyes? It was this. And those photos didn't even do this justice. This was 20 times more beautiful in person. When the light would hit it, you would see the little glimmers reflecting. And then we have Peekaboo, which is a little bit more of a satiny shade. Still really pretty. Don't like it as much as Deep Dive, but still like it. And then we have a little quirky, which again, this is my kind of color. Really, really obsessed with it. So overall, I'm just so in love with the colors in here and the ColourPop Super Shock formula. Like, you can't deny. It's a really fantastic formula. It's extremely affordable. So the Going Coconuts collection was a big hit for me. I didn't think everything was amazing, but these two items in particular, I have been loving this month. Also what I'm wearing that I know you guys are going to ask me about what's on my lips and again this lip is my color story. So these are the Christian Audette and Mel Thompson collaboration items. So in the collaboration there were two lip liners and two lipsticks. So what I'm currently wearing right now is the Smooches gel lip liner and you guys this is one of the best lip liner formulas because it is so smooth and creamy going on the lips. It feels just like a ColourPop lip liner, just that really creamy feeling, but it sets down and it doesn't move. This is one of the most long wearing lip liners, but it's also creamy. So you definitely get the best of both worlds where it just sets down and it lasts forever but it also is just so easy and comfortable to apply and I love this color it's the perfect lip defining color for a good nude lip and on top of that I have the beauty lipstick which 
I just, these two are a match made in heaven. I am so obsessed with these colors. Mel, you did such a fantastic job. I cannot stop wearing these colors. Also in the collection, there's a little bit more of a light nudie pink lip liner in Kitten. Again, something super great and wearable. This color is so fun. This is Puffin right here. If you love these super neon red orangey kind of colors, you are really going to love this one. This color is just so beautiful and it, honestly it's very unique in my collection but you guys know I'm such a nude lip lover that I'm honestly obsessed. Definitely check out this collection. The formula on these are super good. The packaging is very luxurious feeling and the lipstick formula is lovely but I gotta say these lip liners are a1. Um, let me talk about another lipstick that I've been loving. This is from Essence and it's only a few bucks uh, but I've been obsessed with it. I can't believe it's as cheap as it is. This is the lipstick in This Is Nude and it's just such a really pretty wearable nude shade and I cannot believe the quality of this given the price. Now previously in past years I had tried Essence lipsticks and I just was not impressed so I believe they reformulated because these are so nice. Now I don't know if it's just this color in particular or this is the bold shade so maybe it's just the bold formula. Whatever it is this lipstick is working. I am interested in trying other lipsticks from the line to see if they're as good as this, but these are the perfect lipsticks to throw in your purse because if you lose them, it's just like whatever, but the colors are actually very pretty and the quality is super good as well, so I'm very impressed with this. So if you're ever at Ulta, I would definitely say pick up some of the Essence lipsticks because I am pleasantly surprised. So again, if another nude lip that your girl loves. Next up, let's do a powder foundation that I've been loving. It is a bit light for me right now, but it's super good. This is from the brand JCAT, and it is the Aqua Insurance Compact Foundation. As you guys know, I wear powder foundation every day to work, and this one is so good. Now, it is a little bit more loosely packed, so it can get very messy. I apply it with the Esum X57, and I get so much coverage with this. This is probably the heaviest coverage of powder foundations that I personally own and it's a drugstore powder foundation. Mine by the way is in the shade natural. I think I would go a shade deeper if I could but this makes the skin look super smooth. It really buffs into the skin and coverage on here is amazing. Definitely comparable to the Makeup Forever powder foundation. I don't know which one I like more but this one is significantly cheaper so I've just been using this one a ton and it is amazing so if you're looking for a good drugstore powder foundation order this aqua assurance foundation from jcat incredible moving on here's an eyeshadow palette that i've been absolutely loving this is the visi art dark edit eyeshadow palette now it's not the newest item on the market but it is quite incredible i've dug into it a lot recently and i just i'm so obsessed with this palette it has the most amazing fall tones i find this palette to be extremely unique just given the palettes that have come out lately this one is so unique it's so pretty the colors are very cohesive in a very unique way. Like you can create so many looks. You can create a purple look, a super orange look, a gold look, a smoky eye, a green look. You can really just do so much with this little guy and the quality is amazing. Right now Muse Beauty Pro is having a deal where this is included so I definitely recommend you check that out because this is one of the best eyeshadow palettes that Vizzy Art has put out and the quality is just so amazing and it's a great way to try their formula in mini form so you pay a little bit less and it's just worth every penny. I've just been loving this and uh, I just recently did a rankings video and a lot of you guys love this as well so there you right. go. So last makeup item that I want to talk about is actually the highlighter that I am wearing right now and this is from the brand Kaleidos. Now Kaleidos is an indie brand but they are so good. They did send these to me but like <laughs> they're so good. First of all let's talk about the packaging of these. These are the cutest things I've ever seen. They are so amazing. They create like the cutest products ever. Now the one that I'm wearing is Ray Rider. Now the collection itself, not all of the highlighters are wearable. Some of these are really fun, funky, glittery, cool colors that my boring self wouldn't wear. But Ray Rider, 
look how pretty that is. The quality of these are really phenomenal. Another really wearable one that I like is Star Surfer. So if you want to try out these items, Ray Rider and Star Surfer are the most wearable. If you are into really fun, unique kind of highlights, this is Laser Glazer. Freaking incredible. Incredible. Some of these have more of a smooth formula. Some of them have more of a glittery formula. You just don't know what you're going to get and it's so amazing. I really, really think they did a phenomenal job and you should definitely check out all of the other things they have on their website. They come out with the coolest things like this brand needs to be huge. Their eyeshadow palettes, I mean, hold on. How freaking cool. I just, every time they come out with a new item, I'm just like, so cool. Okay, anyways, that was the last makeup item. Don't really have too, too much to talk about, really. Just, I don't know. There's just so much makeup that it overwhelms me, and I only use, like, two things. <laughs> I don't know if anybody falls into a rut like that, but I will not lie. November was a bit of a makeup rut for me. I was feeling very overwhelmed, and... I just needed to chill out and use the products that I really wanted to use. So that is everything that I love this month. So let's talk about my channel of the month. And that one goes to my friend, Jessica. If you look up Jessica Lee Rojas Ken here on YouTube, you will find her channel. She's just the sweetest and cutest person ever. She has such amazing makeup skills. She does so many things that I could never do. And I feel like she sees makeup from a really fun, unique standpoint. So she just does these fun makeup looks that I love watching. I love hearing her opinions on makeup. And she has a very similar taste in makeup that I do. So I mean, I'm assuming you're watching me you like my taste in makeup so you will definitely like jessica's videos she is honestly so kind and so sweet and i really do enjoy her videos so i did want to give her a quick shout out because she's amazing i love you jessica make sure you go to her channel check her out and subscribe you can definitely feel how much she loves makeup just through watching her videos and it just makes it that much more enjoyable so that is all i have for this month's favorites i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know what your favorite were for this month. I'm going to be continuing to use a lot of makeup. I have a lot of fun video ideas in store for you. So I have winter break coming up in a couple weeks and so I have like 10 days off. I'm just going to be filming and filming and filming. I'm so excited. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, I sure do hope you take the time to do so and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.